Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Notion, two incredibly popular platforms that help teams stay organized and boost productivity. I'll break down their features, user experience, integrations, support, and pricing, so that by the end of this video, you will know exactly which one might work better for you. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Miro, check out the link that I've added in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates, all for free, just through my link. Now let's get started. First off, let's take a look at what each platform really is all about. Miro is an online whiteboard tool designed for visual collaboration. It is perfect for brainstorming sessions, mind mapping, project planning, and design workshops, especially when teams are working remotely. On the other hand, Notion is more of an all-in-one workspace where you can write notes, manage tasks, build databases, and create wikis. It is loved for its flexibility in organizing just about anything, whether it's personal to-dos, team projects, or full company documentation. Now, moving into features, Miro is great for visual work. It gives you endless space to work with, plus tools like sticky notes, flowcharts, and wireframes. There's also a big library of templates to help you get projects going. You can run workshops and strategy sessions too using things like voting tools, timers, and interactive widgets. Meanwhile, Notion is all about organizing information. You can build pages inside of other pages, use databases, add media, assign tasks, and set up workflows. It is super flexible and lets teams create systems for project tracking, knowledge sharing, or even managing customers, depending on what they need. Next up, let's talk about user experience. Miro's interface is smooth, colorful, and very easy to use. It's designed to spark creativity and feels super intuitive, even for people who really aren't great with tech. Things like dragging items, zooming in and out, and live collaboration feel very natural. Notion, on the other hand, has a very minimalist, clean look. Some people love it because it cuts out distractions and helps you stay focused, but it can take a little longer to get comfortable since it's so customizable. It might take some extra time to figure out the best way to set up your pages and your databases. Now, when it comes to integrations, both platforms really do a great job. Miro works well with tools like Slack, Jira, Asana, Google Drive, and Figma. This makes it a great choice for design and product teams. Notion is also strong here, connecting with Slack, GitHub, Google Calendar, and more. Its API has improved recently, which means that you can now connect it to even more tools in your workflow. Let's take a look at pricing. Notion has a free plan, uh, plus at $12 per seat per month, and business at $24 per seat per month, and an enterprise option with custom pricing. Miro also has a free plan, starter at $8 per user per month, business comes in at $16 per user per month, and also an enterprise price pricing plan that you can request directly. So which one should you choose if your team works best with visual tools, needs a shared space for whiteboarding, or often does design sprints and brainstorming workshops? Miro is probably the better choice. It's great for teams that need a visual way to collaborate and plan. But if you're looking for a tool to keep everything in one place, like documents, tasks, and databases, Notion is the way to go. It's a solid option for organizing information and creating a streamlined workspace. In the end, your choice really depends on whether you need a space for a visual teamwork or a tool to manage and optimize information. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.